otherwise it will be stretched too far away. Due to the nature of our business, right, because because it's kind of hard to have like a, a customer imagine everything. So we will always put out like pieces that we love to do in, in entirety, right? So we will post it online and then they will kind of have an idea based on what they saw that have like their personal touch or like their name according to that design. So we, we will use that as a, a stepping stone and then a build up from there. So yeah, that's, that's how, it, how it goes usually. I guess um, we will always like to position ourselves as a restaurant with a small menu. So we specialize in uh, certain things. So most of our inspiration stem from like military aesthetics to like uh, punk rock culture like music. So if it falls within that realm, we are willing to explore because uh, we are good at it and we, we are very sure that we can execute a good job. But if it falls outside of that, then um, yeah, we, we, we will have to like suggest, try to steer them back into that realm so that we can deliver a, a, a better product. Yeah, otherwise, if it strays too far away, uh, we usually decline the job. We don't do advertising at all. We, we, we only promote through our Facebook, sometimes uh, Instagram and sometimes uh, website. So these are like specific people who want to follow us to look for what to, to look for our product so um, yeah we wouldn't say there's much like a good gauge would be like uh, two out of ten requests we, we decline but usually we would steer them and um, to the right direction and we produce something really beautiful for them and they will they always end up being very satisfied yeah. down to like maybe four to five emails bounce back and forth yeah, should, should be done we, 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 have, we have done this for a long time so we are we're quite experienced on steering them to the right direction and coming to a conclusion yeah yeah gold brown uh, I don't know what was one color that we use um, there will be like color combinations that won't look very masculine that's why I would say that there are certain color combinations that we won't use but then like I mean black and pink is quite punk rock so it's you, you get the drift right so it's it's more like combinations that we won't use rather than like a specific color so we can't rule out any colors yeah, yeah, yeah. use a lot of olive greens right like military greens so there was one green that we mix a little bit um, more blue than we expected and uh, it, it turned out not very military but like in the end it, it worked and we, we sat down and we said hey this is a nice color so Still, it falls within this kind of same structure. I won't paint on the midsole because it's rubber and uh, the paint doesn't adhere properly and it will scratch off. So, I won't touch here. I would not uh, deconstruct the shoe because that would uh, compromise the integrity of the structure. And if I put it back again, for me personally, I, I would categorize it as. So it's not, it's not like a, it's not the original shoe anymore. It's, it's, it's a bit different already. Whereas uh, when we apply paint on it, like just on the surface, it's like cosmetic. So that's, that's fine. So that's two things, right? Uh, one last thing I wouldn't do is yeah, don't bargain with me. On, on don't haggle with the price. That's the straight deal breaker. So, uh, we, we, we don't budge because um, yeah we we, we, don't, we we always like to give our customers their 100% yeah of, of our work 